Yeah, yeah, what's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy, Acito. I'm back with another one. Back with another one for y'all. Big shout out to the whole entire Battle Rap community, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, support the channel, man. But we got to talk about the queen, my Gemini sister, Remy Ma. She's back again with another one. Yes, she's back with another card, man. Big announcement. The Grudge card going down June 17th, Saturday in New York City. Um, She has not released actual details of the venue yet, but... The tickets uh, are available and the pay-per-view is available at rapgrid.com. I believe you can get the tickets at chrome23.com. So make sure you guys get the tickets. Pre-order your pay-per-view. I believe right now the pay-per-view is $40. So yeah, man, make sure you guys get that. Make sure you guys support, man. But yo, man, it's been a lot of like rumblings. What's going on with Remy Ma? When's the next car going down? You know, she... Her, her main objective was to create a league to get more exposure to the women because there was a huge like void of women matchups. You know, Queen in the Ring pretty much has been in a slump. They've pretty much been non-existent. They haven't been really doing anything impactful as far as just on battles. URL, they do battles every once in a while. They may throw one or two. They did a whole card, uh, a volume ladies card, which is really dope. But they're not really super consistent when it comes to just booking and putting on full female cards. RBE will also maybe throw one or two maybe battles in there. But there really isn't any other league that's dominantly all female battle rap so um remy ma pretty much came in and tried to fill the void for that unfortunately when you're dealing with female battle rap it's very small minded um it's a big market for it potential but a lot of work still needs to be done to get the traction and get the, the marketing and exposure to it fortunately for remy she just wasn't selling enough pay-per-view tickets um and it, and it was costing her too much to just keep putting on these full cards. So she went ahead and mixed it up, did the intergender battles, and it was successful. Her last event with Easy to Block Captain, Hitman Holla, classic. The event was crazy. She also had Miss Hustle versus Shuni. You know, he had a couple technical difficulties with the glitch with the pay-per-view due to the Pat Stay event. But other than that, fire event, fire event. So this card right here was a big, you know, surprise. Um, but it's called the Grudge Match. Let's go over these battles, man. So we got Chirac versus uh versus uh top tier Tony. Uh Caution 757 versus First Lady Flames. Tori Doe versus Shayna Ashley. 40 Bars versus Yoshi G. Now we got four battles, y'all. Four battles. Now I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all some if y'all ain't been paying attention on Twitter. Shuni the rapper made a tweet towards Remy. Was like, "Yo, I wonder if there's space. You know what I'm saying? Space, space to you know what I mean? Put, put, you know, me and maybe Casey on the car. You know what I'm saying? And then Remy was like, "Interesting. You know what I mean? I see if there's enough time. I, yo, if you've been paying attention, Casey been calling out Shuni, bro. She be calling her out, saying she want to, she want to battle her, and Shuni ain't ducking no smoke." So I would love to see that matchup be added to the car. I do feel like the car needs a like it needs a headliner. I don't agree with Yoshi and Forty being more so the headliner. Forty's definitely a headliner, but I don't know if the like her her opponent Yoshi is carry enough weight to match her to be a headline for this car. I wonder if Remy got something up her sleeve with a surprise battle, which I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Because four battles is really kind of small. But it would be super dope, man, if she could add Shuni versus Casey on this car. I think that would be fucking super fire. Super fire. But let's talk about the matchups we do have. So <laughs> you got <laughs> you got Shyrak and Tony, right? Now, like I said, this, this is a grudge match, right? A grudge match card. I'm not really too familiar with grudges. Maybe, maybe I would say one one matchup on this card could possibly be a grudge but i guess they shot the face-offs for this uh for this card already so probably get a little bit more insight and maybe find out certain things that i may not have known you know like i said 
female battle rap is small, but they also have a big market. It's just just far as like the females and their support system. So some shit may have happened. Queen of the Ring or whatever the case may be back in the day. And I may have forgot about it. Like this one right here. I did not know that Chirac and uh, Tony, they both used to date Dot. So there's animosity right there. I heard their face off was super personal, crazy. Heard that shit had to get broken up. I heard, you know, text messages and shit was being brought to light. And I heard it was nasty. I heard it was crazy. So I'm looking forward to seeing that face off. But uh, I fuck with Chirac. Chirac is fire. I really, really like her. Uh, I, I got her maybe edging this battle, but I uh, I haven't seen much from Tony. So um, I don't really, it's kind of kind of unfair, but I don't know. Like, I really like Chirac. But I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this particular face off because I heard Dot was in the building and I heard it was hilarious. I hope they zoom in on Dot with certain things it said. But uh, you got Caution 757 versus First Lady Flames. To me, this is probably main, this should be main event in my opinion. Um, Not because they both from Virginia, but you got, I believe one is from Virginia Beach and one is from Richmond. Um, Both is super fire, bro. Fire. First Lady Flames. She came in the game going crazy, making a, a dope name for herself. Um, she's been quiet, bro. Like, she's been quiet. Her last couple matchups have been, eh, eh. you know, she had the couple, she had the two on two with Jack. Wasn't really feeling that. That was kind of lackluster. She kind of carried Jack through the two on two. She had a, a battle on a small league against somebody. I think she had a slip up in that battle. But um, other than that, she had she did have a battle on URL. I, I can't remember who she battled. Oh, she battled my verse. She battled my verse. That was a fire battle. That was fire. I think I edge. I don't know. That was kind of de that was debatable too. If I remember, that was debatable. That was debatable. So I don't know, man. Caution been. I mean, not caution. Uh, First Lady Flames kind of been. Uh, I don't know, man. Then you got somebody hungry. New brick. R B E. You know what I'm saying? You got caution. She been fucking shit up, bro. She 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 uh made it to the finals with the tournament. She made a super super big impact on Chrome 23. You know she made an impact as far as on the bricks with R B E battle Q B battle C three. Like she already got legends like under her belt. She battled Bonnie twice. You know what I'm saying? Like she's getting busy. She is getting busy, bro. And I think she she deserves this matchup. I think this is going to be a super, super dope competitive battle. Like I said, I got this shit being battle of the night. Flames is not a joke when it comes to that pin. Um, I would love to see a lot more Flames, man. Like, I wonder why we're not seeing a lot more of her. I think I kind of understand because there's a, there's a like I said, there's a, a lack of female leagues and, you know, pretty much matchups. I mean, she still has a, a lot more battles. She still got jazz, you know what I mean? She got 40. Like, she uh she got a lot of battles. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro. But I'm excited about this battle right here, bro. Yo, this is gonna this, like I said, this is gonna be battle of the night, man. I don't know. This is gonna be a very debatable. I think it's gonna be very, very debatable. Um, I'm leaning more towards caution 757, just because she's been more consistent in the ring. I think she's been learning from these vets you know learning what things to do uh what approaches what not to do um she's very smart man she's a student of the game if you listen to her interviews and the way she articulates herself she's very smart man and she said that i learned a lot from you know the c3 battle and from you know what i'm saying the qb battle um I don't know, bro. I I got I got her edging this shit two one, bro two one. But it's gonna be fire. It's, I think this is gonna be a classic, bro. I'm calling it. I think this is gonna be a classic. Tory Doe versus Shayna Ashley. Have not seen a lot from Tory Doe. Tory Doe gets busy, man. She definitely does her thing from Harlem. Actually, they both from Harlem. To be honest, this is Harlem on Harlem crime right here. Um, I don't know, man. Tory Doe. It's another one. She was supposed to battle somebody on uh, on Queen of the Ring. She didn't. She didn't uh, show up to the battle for, for what reason? I don't know. She didn't do an interview or anything about it. Previously to that, she had um, the battle with um, she, who she battled. She battled uh, Yoshi G, and that was bad. That was a bad loss. I had her losing three zero. Uh, other than that, man, I haven't really seen much from her, bro. She battled Chess. Chess did her dirty. I'm just going to the top of my head from the battles that I've seen. I've seen her get her ass whipped more than her winning battles. 
Uh, Lord's my like Shayna Ash. Shayna Ashley. Sh Shayna's a legend, bro. When female battle rap, she been doing her thing for years. She battled a lot of the top females. Um, she was in a tournament. She she uh she beat QB, which I thought was a very very debatable battle, very controversial battle. Um, then the next round, due to I believe some health reasons, she was not able to make it. Um, to battle in the next round, and we didn't really see much from her. But she's back. I'm glad to see her. I really fuck with Shayna. Shayna's one of my favorites when it comes to females. Her pen, her delivery, her cadence. She's fire. I got Shayna Ashley respectfully 3-0. I think this is going to be body of the night. This is going to be the body of the night. Respectfully. Uh, then we got the main event, I guess. Uh, the main event. Uh, 40 bars versus Yoshi G. Now, they have been going back and forth, man, on the spaces. Uh, it got personal at one at one point. They talking about each other's kids and things of that nature. So I, I would say this is a very grudge battle. This is very personal. Um, they don't like each other. Forty has not held a tongue. Um, I think they've been able to coexist like in the same spaces. I don't know as far as about in the same room, but um, yo, Yoshi's been getting a lot of big battles, bro. You really look at Yoshi. Yoshi has. She's been able to maneuver and get herself in in the limelight of getting like people of the lux. I mean, of the of the likes of Charlie Clips. I think she battled B Dot. Um, she who else she battled? She battled. Um, uh, damn, why am I drawing a blank? She I, she got a lot of battles, bro. She got a lot of battles. I'm not gonna hold you. And for her to score forty bars. On a main event on a Chrome 23, I think is a huge, huge opportunity and a, and a testament to her hard work and you know her you know going through what she goes through through you know mental health and dealing with you know certain antics on, on social media. She's been able to navigate and get these certain battles. Oh, she battled um she battled fair funeral. She battled uh, uh what's my homegirl name from Cali? A uh, fine, fine girl too. Um, oh, got the beautiful eyes. Uh, I think her Instagram name is Pretty Reese. Oh my God, why am I? Oh my God, I can't remember her name, man. Damn, pardon me, pardon me, sweetheart, pardon me, sweetheart. She just battled her, man, on URL. It was a fire battle. I actually had her slightly edging. It was debatable. It was very debatable. It was very debatable. I'm so mad. Oh man, I'm so mad. I can't remember her name, but um. Yo, Yoshi, Yoshi, yo, Yoshi's been having some really dope, like, matchups, bro, and getting these big names. So, I'm not, I'm like, this battle, honestly, like, if you're looking at it, 40, 40, I would say 40 is pretty much, she's expected to go in here and just clean Yoshi up. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not, I don't see her losing this battle. Um, Now, if Yoshi, depending on if this is a big stage or small room, she can make it competitive, but 40, bar 40 bars just had an arguably classic against Ill Will. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really pin any classics from Yoshi. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I find this shit really hard to to really give the battle to Yoshi. Like, I don't I don't know, man. I don't see her... I don't see her going getting in the ring and cleaning 40 bars up like i i just i just don't see it all right all rex that's who uh yoshi that's who yoshi battle she battled all rex damn i forget i forget my baby with rx man shout out to rx but um yeah i got 40 bro i got i, I get yoshi getting around i give yoshi around but i got i got uh if well let me say this because 40 is choke prone 40 is choke prone okay let's not forget you know, yo, forty. You you still got a lot to prove. Like you did, you did fight against Ill Will, but on the lady side, you no showed the coffee battle. That was nasty work. Um, you choked in the in the, in the tournament, so you got a lot of like making up to do as far as on Chrome Twenty Three. So Remy's expecting. I'm I'm pretty sure Remy expecting for you to go in here and thirty Yoshi. So I can't even really say like this shit is gonna be clear because forty is very choke prone. She's very choke prone. So I don't know, bro. If if 40 don't get through her material, I got Yoshi. But if 40 gets through her material, I got 40 bars with the 2-1. Um, 
if I gotta grade this card, man, I'm gonna grade this card probably about a seven. Um, I give it about a seven. Like I said, I gotta see the face offs to see how you know the lead up is to the event. It's June seventeenth, so it's still a lot more time for promotion for the card i would like one more battle added to the card maybe two i think i wouldn't be surprised like i said if remy got a surprise for us on this card you know with the politics with url blocking battles she probably don't want to throw everything out there so she probably just want to see if all right let me see if i have any issues with this battles with these battles right here everything go cool i might let it go maybe a week or a couple days before but um like i said i give it a seven man if she adds if she adds the shuni and casey battle to this car 8.5 you know what i'm saying 8.5 because i know that battle right there is going to be very 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 competitive um but shout out to remy mom man like i said i'm glad to see remy back outside um yeah man this this is this is super dope man i'm trying to make a chrome 23 event um this is like two days after my birthday so i don't know man i'm gonna see man i'm gonna see i might try to make it to new york city and be in the building for this car man but big shout out to remy um, make sure you guys get the pay-per-view on rapgrid.com. Support, support, support. And make sure you guys support me, man. Subscribe, like the channel. Let me know in the comment section of, let me know what your predictions are. Let me know who do you guys think is going to be battle of the night. Let me know how you guys are scoring this card so far. Let me know if you agree with me, if you think they're going to have Casey versus Shuni on the card, man. I appreciate all the love, man. It's your boy, Sito. I'm out of here. Peace.